Hello and welcome back to Good Ship Cruising. It's me, Jed, your ever reliable tour guide, and today I'll be taking you for a look around PO Australia's flagship, the Pacific Adventure. The Pacific Adventure was previously the Golden Princess, however, she was transferred to PO Australia in 2020 and received a large scale renovation in 2021. The Adventure is 290 metres long features 13 passenger decks, and has a capacity for around 2,600 guests. But enough chit chat, let's get this tour rolling and head aboard the marvellous Pacific Adventure. Starting at deck 17, you will find the ship's impressively placed nightclub, which is aptly named Altitude. The nightclub is home to some pretty grand views, but if you're afraid of heights, maybe give this one a miss. Located at equally dizzying heights is the ship's sports court on deck 17. Now, if you're an adrenaline junkie, P&O have you covered with the Edge Adventure Park, which is also located on deck 17. Here you can find rock climbing, a ropes course, and even a large flying fox. These activities aren't for the faint of heart though, and just thinking about the rock climbing has me weak at the knees. Now, if water slides are more your style, the adventure has the amazing Twin Racer water slides. And not only is this fun for the whole family, check out the views from up here as well. Heading down to deck 16 forward of Pacific Adventure, you can find the Byron Beach Club. This luxurious retreat is designed for those guests that are after a more premium experience on board the adventure. Deck 16 aft is home to the ship's sunset bar and two large whirlpools. There's also some excellent seating located up here and check out how amazing these views are. And we were super lucky to catch this special visitor, the Pacific Encounter as she transited north on one of her Queensland cruises. If fitness is more your style on holidays, there is a substantially sized gym located at deck 15. Access is also available to the pool deck of the Byron Beach Club from the fitness center. The adventure is also kitted out with an expansive Alamus bar. This is located deck 15 forward. Tech 15 is also home to the sky bar and also the big screen under the stars. There's also upper deck access to the Pacific Adventures family pool from deck 15. This is also home to the family games like foosball and table tennis. Located in close proximity is also the ship's shuffleboard court as well. Alrighty everyone, it's time to jump down to deck 14 and check out the main pool area. Here you will find the P&O, Pizzeria and Luke's Burger Bar. Previously the Pizzeria was offered under the Gradi Pronto branding. But not to worry, I think the pizzas are even better now. This part of the ship also offers a large main pool and two smaller whirlpools as well. It's also home to a raft of entertainment options and parties depending on your P&O cruise. Now, if keeping cool is more your style, located next to the main pool is the ship's ice cream bar. Moving further aft is where you'll find the family pool zone on board Pacific Adventure. A large pool and two spas take centre stage under a massive glass retractable roof. This is perfect for those not so warm days or when it's raining. 
If all of that swimming has you working up an appetite, you'll find the pantry right next door. This part of the ship has been tastefully renovated and offers P&O's take on buffet dining. Here, the fantastic staff plate up dishes individually from a variety of cuisine stalls. There's also plenty of space to tuck into your meal and soak up the great views from deck 14. There's also a range of self-service options like fruit, salad and bread. And let's not forget the most important part, there's a huge selection of desserts from the sugar bar. Overall, I think this is a great concept and it really does have its advantages over a regular buffet. There's also hot beverages and water available at all times in the pantry. This is complimentary as well. One of my favourite parts of the ship is the Oasis Adults Only Retreat, located at the aft of Deck 14. This is home to a substantially sized swimming pool and some lush looking day beds. There's also a huge Oasis bar for when it's time to rehydrate. Jumping down to Deck 7, you will find the majority of Pacific Adventures public spaces and venues. Some of these areas have been completely modernised making the adventure feel much younger than she actually is. Starting off with the Marquee Theatre on Deck 7, you will notice this part of the ship has unfortunately been left untouched. The Marquee Theatre spans two decks and is home to the ship's complimentary shows and entertainment. Just after the theatre, you can find the ship's casino, which is noticeably smaller than the Pacific Adventures sister ship Pacific Encounter. In the very heart of Deck 7 is the beautiful central atrium that has been given a light makeover, and her Princess Cruise's roots are still very evident here. On Deck 7 of the atrium, you will find a variety of retail options, which even includes a Pandora Charm store as well. There's also the beautifully decorated ocean bar, which leads to an expansive promenade spanning the length of the entire ship. Deck 7 will also lead you to one of my favourite features of adventure. It's her huge promenade deck that encompasses the entire ship's circumference. A promenade deck like this one is becoming a rarity these days, so I really appreciate the fact that Pacific Adventure has her very own beautiful wraparound promenade. And when I say wraps around the entire ship, I really mean it. You can do an entire lap from bow to stern completely uninterrupted. Up next, we have the Adventure Hotel, which has been completely revamped and offers a contemporary Australian pub experience. This venue is used to host trivia, karaoke and live music. P&O did a really excellent job redesigning this part of the ship. I just wish this design had have carried over the entire ship. That would have been great to see. And situated right next door is the Blue Room. This is the perfect spot for a cosy cocktail and an intimate music experience. And only metres away, you'll find the p and Trattoria. And it's important to note that previously this venue was under the 400 Gradi branding. I also happen to think this is one of the most beautiful restaurants on board the Pacific Adventure as well. I mean, just take a look around. Everything is gorgeous here. Making your way towards the aft of the ship, you'll find Black Circus. This show lounge hosts cabaret shows such as Blanc de Blanc Uncorked for an additional fee. Alrighty, let's jump down to deck 6 and continue our tour from forward to aft. Once again from this deck, you have access to the Marquee Theatre, and moving towards midships, you'll find Luke's Bar and Grill, which is an a la carte dining option on board.
Heading to the centre of the ship, you will find the central lobby once more. On deck 6, you will also find the duty free stores and the adventure store which is home to all of the p &O goodies you could think of. And yes, that includes the ship models too. If you need any assistance from guest services, you will also find reception centrally located in the lobby on deck 6 as well. Deck 6 is also home to the beautifully designed Angelo's restaurant. This is one of three complimentary dining rooms that can be found aboard Pacific Adventure. This dining room is simply bellissimo, wouldn't you agree? And only a short stroll away is the Asian inspired Dragon Lady restaurant. Now it's super important to note that you can only access Dragon Lady from the aft lifts and stairwell as the main galley is in between Angelo's and Dragon Lady. Okie dokie, it's time to check out our final stop on our tour of Pacific Adventure. Let's head down to Deck 5, the lobby. This is the lower level of the lobby and home to a variety of bars and a cafe. These bars include Lily's and Charlie's which feature a ton of lush seating and great views too. The Avalon Cafe has all of your caffeine needs covered as well. There's also an essential store for any last minute needs you might have, and don't forget the ship's gaming arcade can be found here on deck 5 as well. If you have any shore excursion queries, you can also check out the destination lounge which is found on deck 5 too. Now last but not least, it's time to check out the waterfront restaurant. The waterfront dining room is the most subtle out of the three complimentary dining rooms on board and it serves a range of contemporary Australian cuisine. All in all, I think the Pacific Adventure is a beautiful ship and P&O have done a really great job in investing in all of the right places. Thank you so much for stopping by Good Ship and watching this tour with me on the beautiful Pacific Adventure. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider giving me a sneaky little like, comment or maybe even subscribe. So once again, thank you so much and I really look forward to seeing you next time.